Alright, so um, while there's still a little bit of daylight, I'm going to attempt a attempt um, to show you the uh, controller here and uh, see what type of options we have for um, doing a two-star alignment. Um, and uh, I don't know how the quality is going to look, and I apologize for the quality because it's being recorded on my phone. So I'm going to grab the controller here, try to grab it, you guys can't see. Okay, so this here is the controller. Um, gotta remember what we do here. I think we do a, you gotta look at the controller here because I can't see. Uh, I believe we do a enter. Never look at the uh, sun with your telescope, obviously. Never do that unless you get the proper solar filter on it. And uh, we're going to go ahead and tap, tap enter again. My latitude, or my long, long latitude is correct. My latitude is correct. Time zone, I believe, is correct. The elevation, I'm not too sure about this. I think I could be wrong. And this could be really bad if it is wrong. I'm not too sure about what elevation um i believe it's how far above sea level i am or something like that i think that's what it is and i converted that online so i think that is about right the date uh september 1st no today is um september september the uh i forgot Today, September the. I gotta think about this. It's gonna take a while. September the eighth. Yes, September the eighth. So we're gonna change this to eight. You tap the number eight on the keypad to change the number. You don't use the up or down keys. And we press enter here. Enter the time. Um, I'll have to change that later, but uh, you're gonna have to enter in the current time for. The, the time you're out um, doing your, um, your 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 polar your, your polar alignment or your <laughs> saying this wrong your your star um, alignment um, you're gonna need to set that to the current time I don't know what that is because I'm recording with my phone and unfortunately I don't believe it watches so I don't know what the time is so I'm gonna have to come back to this and reset this um, 8:42 p.m. I believe that is the actual correct time so. I believe that is the possibly the right time for right now where I am in east in the east coast of Florida or the US. So we're gonna tap enter. Daylight savings. No. Uh, begin alignment. So this here is the the alignment that you would do. Um, obviously, you want to have your telescope facing in the direction of. Uh, where the star is before you do the alignment, so you're gonna wanna uh, find your your star in the in the sky. Hopefully, you can find one that's in the list of um, the controller for your Star Seeker Four. Um, you'll have to go through the list. It'll ask you which uh, which star you want to align with. And I'm not gonna do the whole procedure of this because it's not there's as you can see, my sky is still lit up. And there are no stars out right now, and unless you count the moon as a star, which you can just barely see that white area maybe up in the tree there. Um, but I can't do the star the the the, the alignment yet. Um, but if I was to say yes, which you press one on your keypad, which is the tour button, and you're gonna do an alignment method, brightest star, or let's see what other ones we have. I think we want to use the the arrow down key which is by the info button uh, two star alignment probably the best is probably to do this two star alignment maybe you can get away with uh, the bright star which would probably be one star which means like maybe Vega Vega would probably be one of your bright stars I don't know if I don't know I don't think Mars or Saturn count as stars sadly uh, so I don't think you can use them Clone error. Not sure what a clone error is. NP error. Not sure what that is either. Bright, brightest star. Let's just go to the brightest star and see what options we have for 
for the brightest star. North sky. Um, so, yeah, obviously this would be the direction that your telescope is facing, I guess, or the sky that uh, you're wanting to pick a star from. So I'm actually facing in the west sky, and I don't know what uh, what stars there are to, would be to align for the west sky. Uh, northeast sky, east sky, southeast sky, southern sky, southwest sky, west sky, west, northwest sky. Or north sky. So I'd probably go with maybe turning the telescope around. Right now my telescope is facing west. I don't know how y'all can see that in the dark, but my telescope is actually facing the west sky right now where the sun sets. And um, I don't think I'm going to do, I think I'm just going to do possibly the north sky, uh, which is this way here, kind of. This is the north sky. I'm, I got my phone kind of attached to a battery so I can't uh, I can't stretch my phone, my phone too far because it's actually charging for the night um, to a battery pack, so I have a cable to get next to it. And anyways, no, I don't, I'm sure you don't really care. Um, but anyways, I would need to tell, tell you, tilt my telescope or rotate the motor or rotate the legs to face the telescope tube north and then pick a star in the sky, which is now really becoming hard for you to be able to see this because... Um, I'm losing light, so I'm going to go ahead and pick North Sky and see what, what stars it picks for me. No object found in this region. Interesting. I don't know what's up with that. Um, why there was no object found in the, uh, in the North Sky, unless it's because of the time of day right now. I guess because the time that it is right now, since it's uh, a little after 8 o'clock, there's no... There's no um, there's no stars that I can align with, so that means I believe my my astro my um, uh, my astronomy club president told me you can't align this during the day. It can only be aligned at night, which means I'm gonna have to wait until it gets dark, which it's not fully dark yet. So I can't do the star alignment until um, a star comes into the sky uh, that I can that the telescope, I guess, or I guess this this um, this remote is programmed somehow to know. Um, what time these objects are going to be in the sky or something like that like a sky chart is and it just never updates it's just something that is pre-programmed um and those planets will those stars will be around when the time comes around that you program into the controller so probably if i was to control if i was to program this controller to say that it was later in the night than it is it would probably find those objects in the sky is probably how it would work so if you were to fool the controller and reprogram um, change the time that it asks you and change it for a later time then I guess it would know that 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 those uh, stars are there um, but anyways that's that's pretty much it I uh, just want to do a quick quick video on uh, showing you I, I apologize for not being able to show you the alignment process but with it being dark out it was going to be even harder um, to show you uh, some of the process so I just wanted to do a quick uh, quick video which ended up turning into about a 10 minute video almost um, but anyways this is the Orion Star Seeker 4 go to on a uh, there's a slash run power seeker ADEQ uh, mounted on a um, Orion Star Seeker 4 and I have no idea what that sound is so interesting whatever that sound is that just popped up